Good morning, ladies and gents. Guess, guess. Well, trying to record a bit of Nightmare Creatures too. Oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, excuse me. On the uh, on the PS One, I did a bit of Nightmare Creatures One, and I thought I'd give Nightmare Creatures Two a quick go. However, I've had a few capture card issues at the moment. I love this menu, by the way. Look at that. Blah. It's got very Tenchu style blood, but um, yeah, this is this is very different. This is a hundred years after the events of the first game, and we're in a kind of crackpot loony bin and I'm just going to kind of have a quick go at a little bit of this and I will be using some cheats oh here we go intro clip the mad sorcerer returned risen from the dead he was determined to plunge the world into a new age of darkness the circle that secret society I was a member of before being tortured by Crowley was under siege Hordes of infernal denizens, unleashed by Crowley, to destroy his adversaries. Rachel, my ally who supported me throughout my madness, was in danger. I had stayed too long in my cell, my lair, tormented by inner demons. But I could lament no longer. She needed me. My nightmare was just about to begin. There we go. So it's it's a lot more visceral and kind of gritty, this one. Um, it reminds me a bit of Manhunt 2 when you're trying to break out of the uh, asylum at the beginning, or sanatorium at the beginning. And it's, um, yes, yeah, it's a little bit like that. I am going to be using cheats because I would like to actually see some of the game. Because this game is really difficult. I did actually try it for like five minutes before and um, without any cheats. And I got battered by like... Well, the first couple of enemies had almost killed me. It's really quite difficult, this. Anyway, so we're going to... Up he gets. Wakes up in his padded cell. Looks quite co co cosy and comfy, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, as I say, so it is set a lot later than the other ones. It's got some weird dismemberment bits and some execution kills. I like the fact that he just had an axe in his, in his cell. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Okay, I need to be able to put the... Okay, I don't know what that was. Yeah, I'll, actually, I'll demonstrate quickly how difficult the combat is without... Here we go, without actually, here we go, this, this nutcase, look at him, in chains and shackles. And it's weird, it, it goes into a combat mode a bit uh, like later on, now I'm going to need one of these, because I remember in here it had a little browse. These are great, they're like, I think it's called Jar of Flies or something, I did look in the manual. Um, where is he? Where's this one that's going to come at me? This dude, I don't know if he's actually taking damage or not, I mean he's on fire, he should be. There is a block. But yeah, you've got it. You've actually got to. He's not dead by any means. Look at his health bar. That's insane. Anyway, you've got this kind of. You would have thought swinging it with an axe would do more. Actually, I'm actually doing a lot better now because I found there's a block button, so I was pushing circle. Missed. What if I get a flawless kill? Probably not. No. Why is he not taking any damage? I mean, look at his. Oh. Oh, he's eating my head. Hang on a minute. He did have a fatality bit. There we go. This is a fatality. You lop his head off and then hack away at the carcass for a little bit. But unfortunately, that gets very repetitive as, as time goes on. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cheap mode on. Pause the game. Got to hold L1 and R2 square and circle. And then push select. There we go. And then when you're in this menu, you can put on... Uh, I want unlimited power-up, I think. Um... Yep, I want unlimited power-ups, definitely on. I also would like... What was the other thing I'm supposed to do? Hang on a minute. Uh, there we go. So we've got unlimited lives, which is handy. And what's the other one? Oh, hang on. Uh, okay, I think that'll do for the moment. Anyway, we'll leave it at that for the moment. Apologies for my, my very slow thing. But anyway, now we've got a limited... Oh, I could, I have to use the D-pad, apparently. Oh, because I haven't got my... This is on the PS3, by the way. This is um, a PS1 game, but being played on a PS3. But anyway, um, I have got a kind of jar of flies thing. Look at this, I love this environment. These are really powerful weapons, really overpowered. It's like one-shot kill. I think this thing's going to get off the table. Quite hard to control this. Loading. Look at these giant fat maggots on the floor. I love it. I do I do quite like this game, but I have to say, I preferred the first one. I mean, what is that supposed to be? It's got very strong Silent Hill 1 vibes, of course. I mean, the aesthetic and everything. 
I want to. How do I? That's the one. This is the that's the jar of flies thing, and it immediately puts them in it <laughs> a fatality mode, and then we get a nice Glasgow kiss as he just nuts him out or her out. Bags of blood. Yeah, there you there your health things. How do I? There is a jump in this as well. Oh, that's the one. And it was easy. I did find myself getting stuck in the scenery twice before. Look at the size of those horrible maggots. Anyway, pressing on. It's quite hard to see where you're going. This is quite dark. I want to... I haven't done a lot of this. I only did five minutes and then I got absolutely battered. Um, I do want to show you a bit of the streets level. The Mike Skinner levels. There's a key. Yeah. Please ignore the screaming. That's not part of the ambient music. Actually, it is really quiet talking of ambient music. Hang on. There we go. There's some interesting enemy designs in this, but at the same time, they get a bit repetitive. Anyway, let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Swimming in this is really weird. It's not... Oh, if you thought swimming in Tomb Raider 1 was difficult, you should try this. Anyway, we're going to try... I found even surfacing was quite difficult. There we go. Actually, you have to press a button to be able to surface. You don't just swim to the top. It took me ages to work that out. I was like, where have I? So we go around here, and we're going to be out of our sanatorium soon. Here we go to the streets of Landing. I, I wasn't really paying attention as to what his backstory is, but anyway, he's a, a nutter with an axe. That's all you need to know, really. Can I? Yeah. More blood. <gasps> got one of those already. When I played this through before, I didn't. That wasn't in there. I'm sure it wasn't. Anyway, we've got two weapons we can use against enemies now. Nice. Hoofing open the gate. Look at this dude. Now I was very much expecting him to put the gate down, but. I mean, it's quite cool character design. I quite like it. There's another one out here, I think. This one should come wandering across the other way. This is about as far as I got. No, I want this one. Set him on fire. Boom! It's not an insta-kill this time, but... Okay, maybe it is an insta-kill. I thought it just drained the health a little bit. Let's try that again. Boom. Because there are these weird kind of enemies, they look a bit like death claws from Fallout later on in the game, they are absolutely solid and they're really good at blocking as well. I can't remember where we're supposed to go. Again, I do, I do like the kind of rainy, sort of modern gothic. Oh, hello mate. Oh, he dodged that. Nice, actually got a block in. Ow, not that time. Ow, oh, he does that head chewing thing which is really annoying. Stop chewing heads. It's not healthy. Nice, got a block in. Fatality. Off with her head. Nice. Another one hacked up. And there is a, there's a different execution animation. Look at that. Over the top blood for each enemy. But it is the same. Like, each enemy only has the one fatality. I think it does. Anyway, I've just suddenly thought. I wonder if if I approach from a different angle, like Tenchu, whether it would do a different animation. I love Tenchu. I love Tenchu 2, anyway. Which is on my channel, by the way. If you're interested in seeing a playthrough of Tenchu 2. Yeah, I had great difficulty getting this to play. Again, there were some weird issues with um, the capture card. We're on the rooftops of the nut house. Huh. There we go. And then... I, say, I believe we just walk over this. Yep. Nice. I think we're in... Is this the laundry room? I think, or something like that. Sheets hanging up and stuff. There we go. And then this is a weird level transition thing. So this is about as far as I got. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to hang on for the rest. Ouch. It's going to hurt. L nearly landed in a shopping trolley. Right, stag night memories coming back. Oh, I hear somebody behind me. Or something. No. Where was that? Oh, hang on. There's a ladder here. What's up here? Get up. Oh, this slightly weird tank controls that you had got on so many PS1 games like this. Actually, I might put on analogs. Oh, hello, mate. Is he going to... That's not what I meant to press. Okay, you can't even attack them when they're ablaze. Oh, what's this do? Oh, is this... Oh, is that a switch? What did that do? Pressing switches is probably a good thing. Oh, hello, what's this? Bolt cutters? Nice. Now, I looked in... The oh, I looked in the um, instruction manual to see what weapons we had, and I don't remember seeing bolt cutters, but... Oh, maybe they're not a weapon. Maybe they're... Uh, maybe they're um, uh, used to open a door or a fence or something like that, maybe. Rather than actually being a uh, a weapon. Nice. Already got infinite of those, so slightly redundant. Damn it. Huh. Nice. 
What is this? Found a book? A page or something? Oh, save game on memory. Game on memory. Okay, yeah, we'll chuck a save point down. Why not? Nice. Do not remove do not remove it. Do not remove Pennywise. So we see we're still at the moment, I think we're on the outskirts of the um asylum, but I know there is a kind of a, a town level later on that I want to see. I also want to see a couple of other enemies. Oh, it's got a bolt. Oh! Ah! Resident Evil 7 style. Got these bolt cuts to get through the, the chains. Nice. Yeah, because you can see the doors are still like cells, don't they? Oh! Wrong button. Nice. Can't do anything about it when he's ablaze. It would be difficult to fight if you were on fire, to be honest. Oh! Ah! Here's one of those. I saw them in the manual. Here's one of these big dudes. Look at him. Is he gonna. Yeah, he is. Oh my god! Holy smokes, that kills him quickly. Okay. I know you can dismember the arms and stuff off these things. I can't remember how. Nice, broken showers. Oh! Is this actually. Oh, nice! That's a. That's a really cool touch that you can turn the shower on by. You can use an axe to do anything. Any multi-function axe. Is that a box? What's this? Oh, okay. It's a way through. I was thinking it was a box of some sort. Right. I want to say I just want to get out of this little section. There may be a Whaley Bailey. Easy. Oh my god. He's blocking every attack. Look, look at this. Imagine if I didn't have cheats on. I was going to have to use that. Sorry, mate, but you're just making things way too difficult for me. Holy smokes, slight lag. Stop it. He sort of stunlocked, or she sort of stunlocked me. Holy smokes. Someone's. Go on. Go on. Someone's been skipping me all the time, haven't they? There we go. Fatality. Oh, nice. Nutted. Got the angle wrong there. He could have accidentally motorboated her. Anyway, where are we going? What's this down here? Cans. Cans of drink. Not much use to me. Okay, old empty cans. I do like, I say, like the aesthetic in this. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, you, yeah, you can't actually save at any point, which would have been nice. I do, when I'm doing a Let's Play, I do like to be able to save anywhere. As opposed to having to keep playing until you find a save point. Saving successful. Yeah, apparently I was looking on Wikipedia, and apparently the developer was saying... Was it Wikipedia? Or somewhere? I can't remember. Was saying that, um... This game was intended to be a lot longer, a lot more of it, but they had to cut some stuff out because it was uh, apparently the PS1 struggled with this. Holy smokes. Which, I mean. Stop it. I mean, the, oh, holy smokes. Did you see that weird pirouette with the axe he did? That was awesome. I mean, it does feel quite laggy, to be honest. This probably plays a lot smoother. It's one of the few times that an emulator probably plays it more smoothly than the original. Hello, what's this? What's this? Find a key. I've no idea what that is, but... Okay. I assume the blood bags are health, but because we seem to have some kind of invincibility on. I didn't actually put invincibility on, or at least not intentionally. I just, I put it on so that, like, I had infinite continues, so that I was, every time I died, I'd be able to carry on. But it didn't do that. Here we go, up here. It is very dark. I hope you're able to see what's going on. I'm struggling at the moment. I want to find out what this one does. No, wrong button. Oh, it freezes them! Oh, nice! We've got our Elsa ability that we always look for in these games. I say we, I always look for in these games. What's this? 8? T8? No. Oh! Oh, so we don't have to keep finding new sets of bolt cutters, which in I know wouldn't make any sense, but it's the sort of thing you get in these kind of games. I like the way he carefully puts his axe down as well! Phew! Look at that for a dodge! Oh, he's done that stupid head bite thing. This is the thing, the health bars seem ridiculous for, like, standard enemies. It seems like... Nice. Again, very Manhunt-esque there. <laughs> Little cinematic. But yeah, the, the health bars for, like, those standard enemies seem a bit excessive, but... What do I know? You know, to not have, um... Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, fire kills them so quickly. I love it. I mean, yeah, you would be just getting your head kicked in really quick. I don't know. Well, I would, anyway. This game seems pretty solid in terms of its combat. I'm probably doing it all wrong. 
But like, there seems to be a... Oh, hello. I just saw him on the ceiling then before he came flying in. What is this? So that's four different types of enemies we've seen. Nope. Okay, the fatality for this is... It's actually really hard to see what's going on there, to be honest, but... Okay, it's just basically going ham with an axe, isn't it? I mean, even these things, which I assumed wouldn't have a lot of health, because they're, they're little squiggly dog things, but... Stop it! Okay, so he... Okay, so he sinks an axe into it, lifts it over his head, chucks it on the ground, and then just... Goes a bit bonkers with it. Okay, fair enough. Why not? Oh, hang on. Is that where he came from? It is. I got all turned around in my fight. Huh. Okay, you can't do an aerial attack. Interesting. Oh, another of these skull things. I like those. Quite why they freeze enemies. Oh, I see a dude. Looking like he's getting something out of a vending machine. Oh, God almighty. Hello, mate. I should have seen that one coming. Damn it. Burn. I want to do the freeze thing again, but I can't remember what it was. Change! There we go. Nice! And you still get a bit of a splatter of blood, even when they're, um... Goonsicles, or whatever you want to call it. More things? No. I thought we needed the bolt cutters again. Are these horrible beds. Yeah, see, the environments are really cool. There's a dude over there. I see a dude to the right. Okay, quite a lot of enemies. Oh, what's that? That's a new one. Peek! Not him! How do you change targets? He's already dead! I need the other one dead! Yeah, say so combat takes... Oh, I've done it again. Combat takes forever with this. I don't know if there's any kind of an upgrade thing. Nope. You don't even get to you don't even get to fatality them anyway. Yeah, I didn't just say if you can upgrade your axe and stuff later on. I suspect not, but now that thing went pelting down here, didn't it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just in case there's any new cool items to get. Oh, there's a book thing. A bit pointless to be honest, because this is only going to be a one-off really. I'm not going to I'm not going to keep going back to this. Because, yeah, this, this, I'm not, in, I don't like this as much as the first one, I must say, but, anyway, probably an unpopular opinion. Although, this, this game's worth, like, over 100 quid on the PS1, whereas the other one's only worth, like, a tenner. Oh. But, yeah, which may give you some clue as to why I'm not keeping it, but, anyway. Right, following that weird Balverine type thing. He looks a bit like one of the creatures in Bloodborne as well. Yeah, it said something about a jar of flies or something. Yeah, it also comes across a bit as one of those games that's like trying to be gory and, and like, oh my god, shocking, and yet isn't quite managing it. That's just, yeah, just blood. Just a blood bag. Don't need that. Hang on. I mean, I quite like the, the you know, destructible environments and all that. Yeah, apparently this was really difficult to get it to run on the, on the PS1 for some reason. Another save point. Holy smokes. That seems weird. Why would they have another one there? That's really... It seems a bit excessive. I've got memories of playing Tomb Raider 3 with that stupid crystal saving thing. It was just like, never daring to save because it was like, I've only got two left. And then like, obviously you die and have to go all the way back to the last point. Anyway, that was really annoying. And I did, did not enjoy that. Tomb Raider 2 and 4 did much better. Anyway, stop talking about other games, Gex. Right, let's get on. I want to see what that weird thing is that we're sort of chasing. Oh, this is going to be messy, isn't it? Oh, they're chewing stuff up. Oh, is this like a morgue or something? Or... Like mortician's place. That takes ages! Right, this one. Ow! Yeah, they're, they're too... Unfortunately, they're too diddy. Like, a lot of the, the attacks swing over his head. Oh, get off, you turd. I mean, this is what I mean. Even with... You know, I'm trying to sort of block stuff and that, but... I mean, you take so much damage from each fight. I know there's quite a lot of health lying about. I don't think there was a a difficulty option, which I need, because I'm so rubbish. Hang on, what's this? Oh, what's this in there? Get off. They were eating that, weren't they? Disgusting. They're not exactly picky eaters, are they? What is this? It's like a kind of metal hedgehog. 
I like it. I, oh, I like the sound of it anyway. Nice, we got a key for somewhere. Oh, it's a maggot. I wonder what that was. I'm not going to take that with me. It's annoying, you can't actually use your weapons or anything, or items you picked up, unless you're in a fight, which is annoying. But anyway, I'm sure we'll be in a fight before too long. I just want to see what this weird spiky ball thing is. I don't remember finding a door that needed a key, in all fairness, either. Whoa. That is the one of the worst jumping things I've ever seen. He just jumps up straight up in the air. Oh, is it this door? And then just, like, shoots forward when you push it. Oh, God, forward. That's what I mean. Look at that. Okay, not that. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Ouch! I mean, Tekken moves that. No, this one. What happened there? His head come off. Okay, there's loads of spikes shot out of me and his head fell off. Fair enough. I like it. What is slightly annoying as well, being picky here, is that every time you get into a fight... Oh, that's what the key's for. Um, every time you get into a fight, it seems to reset the item to that fire one. Like this. It's going to be on that. No, that's not what I meant to press. God damn it. That didn't sound very nice. Did it? Right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's one of these again. Stop throwing stuff. It's really dangerous. Use it. Nice. Oh, nice. It's literally 360 degree. Perfect. I bet they're normally... Hello, what's that? I bet they're normally pretty rare in the game, those things. Another key. I'm noticing a pattern here. It's got the Resident Evil thing of just find a key, find a door, find a key, find a door. I mean, I guess they were pretty limited back in the day. Oh, hello, it's one of these things. I want to try one of these on her. On her. Nice! It does, it just causes people's heads to fall off. I don't even know what that was, but anyway. These environments are getting a little bit samey, I must admit. I want to see, I want to see the streets. Dry your eyes, mate. Look at that, beast. Oh, here we go. Is this... This is going to be boss fight time, isn't it? Bleh. Yeah, they die so quickly to fight. Right, where did that weird... Oh, he we went up there and shut the door, did he? Rude. Okay, that looks like it's barred, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's very barred. Uh, what else have we got? Okay. Did I see a door... No, that's just a blood bank cabinet that any self-respecting person would, would have in their home. Where do we go? Oh, hang on. Ah, I didn't see this. There's probably stuff behind me, but it takes so long to turn around using the D-pad. I can't be bothered. What's going on? Oh. You can't even change when it's in the middle of an animation. Come on! Like, while he's burning. Let's see it again. Yeah, I can see what they were going for, but I don't know. It's like whacking him in the shin. Oh, his leg fell off that time. Nice. I do like games with a character dismemberment. Without sounding like a complete weirdo, but yeah. Right, hang on. Two seconds. There we go. Sorry, volume was a little bit quiet. Okay, I'm seeing bloodstained carpets. We're probably heading in the right direction. What is this room? Oh, it's like a, an archive room, sort of. Hello, mate. For some reason, that didn't actually make me jump. Nice! Head up. Oh no, it's a cupboard. He came out of the closet. Right, where do we go? Oh, over here? Huh. Oh, he can't get up. Can I not climb this? No, I can. That's quite a clumsy climbing animation, I have to say. Oh, this is going to be boss fight time, isn't it? I saw you. <laughs> I don't know if he's still stretching for... For help, even their heads falling off. Oh, oh, hang on. Is it just this? Some might say, "What's the point in that?" But anyway, oh god. Are we outside though? Okay. Ah, oh, you would get up, wouldn't you? You would. I've almost got like a kind of a, a kind of Nazi trench coat armband thing going on. That's not. That's not the one we were following, is it? No. Oh, freaking head bite animation. Nice. Okay. I, I mean, I thought we were... That's not that. I thought we were chasing... 
Um, that Balverine thing. I don't know where it went. I thought it went up the stairs. Oh, well, maybe we maybe we still are. Oh, hang on, another save point. Nice. Again, it it is. I've already clicked yes. It is a little bit repetitive. I don't know. It seems more so than the other one. More so than the first game. It also doesn't help that I have no idea who this is. It says something about that Crowley bloke, Alistair Crowley, is um has been resurrected or something, or he's come back for whatever reason, whatever heinous and malicious reasons. Oh, it's a ladder, okay. I thought it was a post. But why this dude's trying to stop him, I don't know. I mean, he seems, he looks and acts like the kind of person that would probably support him. But it was probably all explained in that beginning clip that I didn't really listen to. Nice. I like that. I had a kind of like little c cinematic bits like that. I know it's, oh, hello, what's going on there? I thought I'd fallen into the void. Get off. Ah, oh, nice, because he was jumping, his head didn't come off. So whoever you think you're going to get your head cut off, jump. Okay, room eight, wing eight. Oh, hello. Is it up here? Oh, another shower room. No, that's not what I meant to press. Now, technically, that shouldn't really do too much to him if he's in the shower. Nice. I mean, it's ambitious that they put some... Oh, hello. Oh, it's just one of them. It's just one of them. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit ambitious. That they, it's quite ambitious they put a swimming, like, mechanic thing in here. Let's turn the other one on. Wastewater. Showers in games always remind me of that little clip at the end of Tomb Raider 2 when it's like, Don't you think you've seen enough? Ch -ch Boom. You know what I'm talking about if you played that. Is this the right way? Or is this... Is this not where I came from? More bloodstained carpets. Oh, come on, Bennett. <sighs> he wanted he wanted to torture me then, didn't he? He was not happy. <laughs> it just seems so daft. Until my head pops off. Going to cell block H. Got him. As if that's half an hour of recording already. I just want to see a bit of the streets. God damn it. Because I, so I'm going to be getting rid of this game today. Um, so I just want to record a bit of it now. As I got the first one on there. I d honestly don't see why this game is worth so much more than the other one. Oh, it's already been... Oh, what? Oh, okay. Well, that was not expected. I thought I was going to interact with it see if there's anything in it. I mean, is this... What? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Are oh, they going to be secret items? Oh, no, cobwebs. What is that thing? What is this? Oh, someone in an electric chair. Oh, that's so cool. It's so utterly pointless and, and unnecessary, but awesome at the same time. Hello, what's this over there? Oh, it's just one of those burning things, which we already have. Okay. Oh, it's like an incinerator room to get rid of all the corpses. This place has got questionable practices going on in it, I must say. Oh, hello. Nice little combo. Okay, so that, yeah, obviously a little secret area there. I like that. I do. I like it when they put non-essential parts in secret areas. Hello, what's she doing? What's she doing? God, how silent hill is this, though? The kind of browns and reds and, and that. You can always smell what the room would be like. It's very silent hill, one ish. Yeah, I'm a coming. Right there, the bottom of the trench coat is just soaked in blood. He doesn't, he doesn't care. That's not the button! God damn it! What was she. Uh, can I not get through there? Oh, yeah, I can. What was she doing at the other end of this? She's just reaching into the skull. Oh, she's eating the brain of whatever was under that blanket. What's wrong with you? We've got Resident Evil 2 morgue vibes then. Just have like every game reminds me of other games all the time. I'm always always talking about other stuff. Right, this time we need something a bit different. No, no, oh god, for God's sake! It's R. I keep thinking it's R one to use it and and um, R two to change it. It's not the other way around. Change. 
What is this one? The flies. Because I can't remember what the fatality animation. Oh, it's the headbutt, isn't it? The Glasgow kiss. Look at that gore. The gib on the floor. I mean, at least it's better than Doom in the sense that it's got a full 3D rendered model. It's not just. Um, nice. It's not just that weird 2D thing. Yeah, this is his kind of transitional bit where he jumps between levels by leaping down bins by, by the looks of it. Nice. Okay, save point. I think we're almost out. We're almost out. I think pick up the save point. 